So the Bank of England governor has signalled an end to cheap credit for mortgage lenders over fears that government subsidies could fuel an unsustainable house price bubble. From January, its funding for lending scheme subsidies will be available only to small and medium-sized businesses rather than domestic loans. But the change could push up mortgage rates. Our economics editor, Faisal Islam, is at the Bank of England. Faisal. John, the way to look at this is taking the foot off the accelerator rather than slamming the brakes onto mortgage lending, which is now back up at 2008 levels. Uh, it appears that uh, mortgages have been identified by the Bank of England as an area of concern. They're not calling it a bubble just yet. When the funding for lending scheme was expanded just six months ago, the Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg said it was putting the economy on steroids and detractors to this scheme said it was a different type of drug owing to the addictive qualities of credit and house price growth in the UK economy. Well, Mark Carney and George Osborne, have they kicked that habit? Or are there even more questions about the other policy that George Osborne espouses in this area help to buy? All around Britain, but especially London, something's lurking in our streets and backyards. The smell of Britain's long history of house price exuberance. Today, a surprise, the Bank of England and government deciding that some of the extraordinary crisis stimulus going into the housing market in the form of the Bank of England's funding for lending scheme should end. Given uh, the access to credit for households now and, and particularly for mortgages, uh, it would no longer be appropriate or necessary to have our foot on the accelerator. Uh, it's better to shift, in, shift into neutral and that's why these changes for the FLS have been made. The scheme gave 40 banks £18 billion of cheap funding as a carrot for increased lending and the original rationale had always been extra lending to business. But the scheme instead underwrote yet more mortgage lending. Today it is refocused solely on that business lending amid signs of a more generalised bump in British house prices. Just last year, UK house prices shown by this temperature gauge were icy blue, flat or falling slightly. But so far this year, amid recovery and subsidy in the housing market, it's turning rather red hot. 14% up in London, yes, but also around 9% up in North West England and Wales too. So not a 2007 bubble just yet, but on the way. We're now seeing house, house price growth to varying degrees across the UK. We're also seeing house price growth um, uh, most markedly for in, in all of those regions for uh, more expensive homes relative to the regions uh, or within the regions. Um, so we have seen that broader momentum. It isn't just the ending of this one incentive. The Bank of England said in future they could advise limits on, for example, loan-to-value ratios of mortgages. That would appear inconsistent with George Osborne's controversial help-to-buy scheme, which subsidises those same mortgage loan ratios. For now, Mr Carney and Mr Osborne have agreed help-to-buy can stay. We're able to take this decision today, the Governor of the Bank of England and myself, with funding to lend, for lending, to focus it now on businesses and small businesses, which are such an important part of our economy. Help to Buy is a scheme aimed at those who can afford a mortgage but can't afford a deposit. It's a very important scheme and it's all part of a long-term plan that is helping the British economy. The end result of all this may be felt in the price of mortgages. The FLS helped longer-term rates tumble to record lows its redirection could see them rise a little in the coming months. John, not just impacts on borrowers, on savers too, double-edged. The funding for lending scheme was effective at funding banks very cheaply, so effective that they didn't need to raise so much money from depositors and give them higher rates. So this could reverse that, this could bring back pressure for higher rates for savers. On the other hand, the whole point of this scheme is in the past Bank of England governors have raised base rates at, uh, when they think a housing bubble's on the way. Uh, this is meant to surgically attack signs of a housing bubble and leave room for Carney's favoured policy, which is to leave base rates lower for longer. John.